good morning and God bless. Welcome back to my channel. I am Charlene and we're going to continue reading in 1 Peter. It's been about three weeks since we read 1 Peter chapter 1, but if you don't know by now, I've had a child, Isabella. So now we're going to get back on track because we still need God's holy word. Amen. Um, I will be reading today from the English Standard Version. This may be permanent for this particular book of the Bible. I know um, you guys know that I used to dance around from Bible to Bible, but I think I'm going to make it a little more simplistic um, so that we can actually comprehend and understand God's holy word together. Um, just a quick prayer. Lord God, we truly thank you for the opportunity to come before you. We thank you for the opportunity to read your holy word. We ask that you bless it as it is already blessed. Help us to comprehend, understand, um, be able to share and live out your holy word. We can't thank you enough, Father God, in Jesus' name. Amen. First Peter chapter 2. So put away all malice and all deceit and hypocrisy and envy and all slander like newborn infants. Long for the pure spiritual milk that by it you may grow up into salvation. If indeed you have taste that the Lord is good. As you come to him, a living stone rejected by men, but in the sight of God chosen and precious you yourselves like living stones are being built up as a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to god through jesus christ for it stands in scripture behold i am laying in zion a stone a cornerstone chosen and precious and whoever believes in him will not be put to shame. So the honor is for you who believe, but for those who do not believe. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone and a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense. They stumble because they disobey the word as they were destined to do. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession, that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Once you were not a people, but now you are God's people. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. Beloved, I urge you as sojourners and exiles to abstain from the passions of the flesh, which wage war against your soul. Keep your conduct among the Gentiles honorable so that when they speak against you as evildoers, they may see your good deeds and glorify God on the day of visitation. Be subject for the Lord's sake to every human institution, whether it be to the imperial as supreme or to governors as sent by him to punish those who do evil and to praise those who do good. For this is the will of God, that by doing good, you should put to silence the ignorance of foolish people. Live as people who are free, not using your freedom as a cover up for evil, but living as servants of God. Honor everyone. Love the brotherhood. Fear God, honor the emperor. Servants, be subject to your masters with all respect, not only to the good and gentle, but also to the unjust. For this is a gracious thing. When mindful of God, one endures sorrows while suffering unjustly. For what credit is it if, when you sin and are beaten for it, you endure. But if when you do good and suffer for it, you endure, this is a gracious thing in the sight of God. For to this, 
you have been called because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example so that you might follow in his steps. He committed no sin, neither was deceit found in his mouth. When he was reviled, he did not revile in return. When he suffered, he did not threaten, but continue and trust himself to him who judged justly. He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds, you have been healed for you were strand like sheep, but have now returned to the shepherd and overseer of your souls. And that, my friend, was chapter three. Again, God's word is already blessed. I thank you guys for reading along with me. I love you. Take care.